Hey everyone, it's Amanda here with Inspired to Craft. I'm here to show you another journal that I've just completed. Um, I've been working on this one for a very long time. Um, it's inspired by Roxy Creations. Uh, Rachel over there, her YouTube channel, did a, um, what's it called? Blah, my brain is mush today. She did a tutorial on doing a junk journal from an Amazon mailer and I loved her cover so much that I just really wanted to do it. I didn't have an Amazon mailer so I did um, a cardboard box um, and this is what I have. So it is, I don't know the measurements, the length I know is bigger than eight and a half uh, because I had to make some Franken pages. Um, there's a little doily on the side. This is her, this is the same image that she used on her cover and she did the same kind of fabric uh, doily on that side. She did a lot more laces than I did but um, there are two signatures in this one and it's covered by lace on the side. This is the doily that wraps around from the front and then the background is some tissue paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. The sorry silk closure is a sorry about that khaki green that I got from uh, felt better on Etsy and then this has some parchment paper coffee dyed parchment paper some paper towel and some um, cheesecloth with a little bit of lace going up here and then this is actually a roll of um, fabric fabric trim that is backwards so the actual the front of it is like a blue and a red pinkish colors um, but that's what the back looks like so I thought that was pretty cool all right, opening it up. She did the same kind of pocket on the front and then this is actually one of her pockets that she made in a tutorial um, with a book page. I've just decoupaged some um, napkin on it and used one of her images, two of her images, and then backed it with some lace, some cheesecloth, and then tucked in a little collage I did. This is Tracy Fox. Um, and it's just tea coffee dyed paper. And then this image was a free image either from Pixel or um, maybe the Library of Congress, I can't recall, but um, just backed it on some coffee dyed paper and did some zigzag stitching around it. All of the images you'll see in here, I either got from the Met or from uh, the kit or some books that I had or Library of Congress. Um, this is some lace dyed paper. This is the Franken pages that I made. I printed out the Book of Romans from the Bible um, and used eight and a half by 11 um, inch paper, regular copy paper, coffee dyed it. And then I sewed these little strips of the Book of Romans to it and then cut it to the size that I needed. I'll link um, a tutorial for that from Izzy B. This is a bookend um, paper that came from a book that's in my collection. From the kit, these are Tim Holtz little ephemera um, journal cards, and then I just put some tabs on them. Tucked them into this pocket here. That's um, another tutorial from Rachel. And then one of her images I just put there on that. This is a huge envelope that I got in the mail. It was bright yellow, but I covered it with some, with a map and then did some collage um, on a journal card or tag. I don't know what you qualify that as. Um, just some collage paper and then a journal card. These little snippets, um, are from Manu, Manu Studio paper pack that I have. This is a regular envelope from the mail and just did a little tag there. This is Artie Mae's butterfly and then some more um, plain papers for journaling. Some little sari ribbon here and then a little collage paper from her kit. This is some handmade flower paper, uh, printable um, 
from the Library of Congress, I, I believe. A little collage here with her stuff with some cheesecloth. Another Tim Holtz ephemera piece. This is an um, image from the Library of Congress that's actually of, um, supposed to be of Christ and his disciples uh, in, the, in a boat on the Sea of Galilee. Um, and then just a little collage with some more of Rachel's papers. Another tuck. This is from this is a coffee dyed paper that I put just on an old sheet pan, it baked it in the oven, and it came out because of all the scratches. It came out with this. I don't know. It's kind of gross um, to think of how scratched up my sheet pan is, but it came out with this black pattern here with all these scrapes. Um, but I love this paper. It's not food or anything. It's just like whatever. These are from all those little, um, all the these little cuts. I just trace, uh, put them around random places. This is a book, piece of book paper, and then behind here you can see some of the lace paper from Rachel. And this is another one of her papers with her letters from the kit. And I used both, I think, two of her time kits. Um, and then this is one of her newer ones. It's a postcard. It's got lots of postcards in it. This is the other side of that envelope. I just put some paper and some of her, um, tore up some of her paper and put it on here. This is an envelope from, um, oh, this is a different envelope. This envelope and this envelope go together. This is from Ligonier, and it says that on the back. I thought it was a good color and a good design, if you can see all those like um, architectural designs on the back of that. Then a tag with another Artie, uh, Andrea Butterfly, with just some collage on the back. This is a piece of paper that I've um, taken some texture paste and did my stencil, um, painted it with chalkboard black paint and then went over um, the textured portion with some ink of gold. And then some more Tim Holtz um, ephemera with some sorry silk sewn on. Sorry ribbon. Collage piece, this is a tea bag backed and sewn with one of Rachel's um, pictures. I love that little image there. This is printed on vellum. This is not from Rachel's kit, but I think it's from the Library of Congress or the Met. Um, and it's got some lace up here. It's sewn around the edges and it's see-through. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can see through it. Another collage with some sorry um, notebook paper. A little pocket tuck with this little card. Some stenciling. That's the other end paper. And then the back of signature one. Signature two. Another tuck. Some more of her postcards. Doily, some more of her elements and a postcard, and by her, I'm still referring to Rachel, <laughs> some notebook paper, and then she did a little um, snippets of um, some collage things that she did, and I kind of try to do the same. Uh, hers are way better than mine, um, but I kind of, I liked how they turned out. Um, this is an embossing, embossed image with one of the stamps that I have. Um, and some gold powder, and some little lace collage. This is an art, art book paper. Um, this side had some naked images on it, so I kind of just covered it up. Um, and then this side is from uh, Rome. Um, I 
like this side. This is a Tracy Fox flower. And then another one of those snippets and some postcards of Rachel's. I love that image from her kit. It's so beautiful. Some more collaging. More postcards. An art paper and then another snippet. It's a belly band. This is just some stenciled tea dye paper. Uh, this is a little flip from one of her images. Parchment paper, a little ribbon, paper ribbon. And then this is another picture from the art book that I have um, backed on some cheesecloth. And then one of Rachel's images with Tracy Fox um, freebie from her Facebook group. More of that parchment paper. There's the other naked cover-up. <laughs> and then a little envelope flip with a little journaling card inside. And then that pretty paper from Rachel's kit. I love that little birdie. And this is a little tea dyed paper with a little, another little snippet. That's Tracy Fox and then some more embossing. And then this is a little image that I got offline. That's the end of signature two. And then in the back there's a little lace pocket with an envelope. Um, this is just tucked in to make it easier to tuck into the pocket. And then inside is just a piece of tea dyed paper. The little sorry ribbon sewn all the way around the edges, the borders. And got a little bit of lace trim here, right there. And then close it up, wrap it around, tuck her in. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you like, please subscribe. I would love that. Thank you so much and have a great day.